In this video, I'll show you three ways to rip wood without a table saw. The first method is using a circular saw. First, place the wood to be ripped on top of a sacrificial board. Using a speed square and a pencil, draw a cut line along the length for ripping. Set the blade depth of the saw using the edge of the wood as a reference. Clamp the wood to be ripped at the middle. Align the blade with the cut line and tighten the rip fence. Turn on the saw and make the cut along the ripping line marked earlier. If you don't have a rip fence, use a straight edge instead. When the saw reaches halfway length, the clamp might block your saw depending on the width of wood used. In that case, remove the clamp and fix it at the point where you started and continue ripping the wood. With that, you've successfully completed ripping the wood with a circular saw. The next method for ripping is by using a jigsaw. Place the wood on top of the work surface and draw a cut line along the length for ripping. Next, measure the distance from the base of the saw to its blade. Transfer this offset distance to the wood. Clamp down the wood along with a straight edge to guide the saw. The wood piece should overhang from the end of the work surface for the jigsaw blade to move freely. Align the blade with the cut line and plug in the saw. Remember to cut on the scrap side of the cut line to get the exact dimensions you need. This is because of the curve of the jigsaw blade, which will cause some loss. Turn on the saw and cut along the line of ripping marked earlier. Remember to press the jigsaw firmly against the straight edge to get an accurate cut. Once the cut has been made, smoothen the edges using sandpaper. Generally, a rip cut with a jigsaw will be less smooth compared to one with a circular saw. With this, you have successfully completed ripping lumber with a jigsaw. The third and final method is by using a bandsaw. Place the wood to be ripped on the bed of the bandsaw. Using a speed square and a pencil, draw the ripping line. The position of the fence should be such that the bandsaw blade aligns with the line of ripping marked before. Adjust the fence of the bandsaw so that the fence aligns with the side of the wood while the blade aligns with the cut line. Turn on the saw and make the rip cut by slowly pushing the wood along the blade. Remember to push the wood piece firmly against the fence to get an accurate cut. Once the cut has been made, smoothen the edges using sandpaper. With that, you have successfully completed ripping wood with a bandsaw. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.